Hi again everyone, Chris Tisdale here again. In this presentation I'm going to continue my series of videos on partial differential equations. Now in previous videos we've been looking at the diffusion or heat uh, problem in one, di one spatial dimension with some initial data and we've been solving it on the whole uh, real line um, for the spatial variable and we showed that the solution was this. In this presentation I'm going to consider the following problem on the half line. Okay, so here we have this pretty much the same PDE, I've, just for simplicity I've put in uh, k equals 1 here, just for simplicity. But you'll note there's an x, so it's the same sort of um, initial uh, temperature function, but you notice there's an, an, an extra condition here. When x equals 0, for example, at, the, at one end of, say, the, uh, a, a semi-infinite bar that we're looking at, the temperature, V, is kept at 0. Okay? So how do we actually um, incorporate uh, or, or discover determine the solution to this this problem here. Well we've got a couple of um, steps here which we're going to work through to build the solution. So first we're asked to extend the initial temperature function to the whole of the real line as an odd function phi sub O. Then we're asked to solve the new extended problem by solving this problem that we already know how to solve from previous videos <clears throat> and lastly we're asked to explain how to obtain the solution to the original problem okay so that's what we're going to do we're going to work through it step by step now extend phi to the whole of r as an odd function well now Essentially with odd functions, what you do is um, you make them say the original function for x positive, you make them 0 for x equal to 0, and you have negative 5 negative x for x less than 0. So essentially, um, if you drew the graph of this function and you rotated it, including the axes, 180 degrees, you should get the same function that you started with. That's pretty much the easiest way to explain uh, the behaviour of odd functions. So, that's part A taken care of. B, solve the, the following problem with the odd initial temperature. Okay, well, how do we do that? Well we can use this representation here okay with k equals 1 okay so so let's call this say star the solution on the whole line and when i talk about the whole line i mean the whole x uh, axis Now, to keep um, the notation under control a bit, I'm just going to um, write this kernel, if you like, as s of x minus y comma t, okay? So let me show you. Okay, so this problem has this solution where this kernel function or source function is defined as the following. Now, if you had a k coefficient here instead of just one, you would have a k inside the square root sign and a k in the 4t four, four here. Okay, so that then is the solution to 
this problem on the whole x axis. And now here comes the slightly more involved part. In part C, we're asked to explain how to obtain a solution to our original problem. Okay, now a couple of things. Firstly, you may think, why have we extended this as um, an odd function? Well, I've said this in previous videos, but for this problem, if the initial temperature function is an odd function, then the solution is also an odd function in x. Okay, let me say that again. If the initial temperature function to this problem on the whole line is an odd function, then you can show that the solution to the problem, u of x comma t, is an odd function in x. That means u of um, uh, negative x comma t equals negative u of x comma t. Okay. Now what this means is that this condition is actually automatically satisfied because every odd function must go through the origin at zero. Okay. Well, we know, I've said that, you can show it, if you can prove it if you want to. Okay, so let me, uh, let me write it, uh, say, this way. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do, what is the significance of this? Well, what we're going to do is now define V to be the solution to this problem for x greater than or equal to zero. Okay. Now, so in other words, we, we look, at, look at this function, which you know how to compute, we throw away all the values for x less than 0, and what's left is this function here. So I'm going to claim that this is a solution to our original uh, diffusion problem on the half line. Okay? All right. So, firstly, from this... This is just v of 0, comma t equals 0. So that is automatically satisfied. And this is why, in the first place, we were asked to extend the initial temperature to r uh, as an odd function. OK? Now, let's take our solution here and um, play with it and see if we can um, refine uh, v a bit and uh, put it in, uh, in some, um, some form that's, that's useful. Okay? Okay, so we've got this. We're going to use the fact that this is an odd function. Okay, let's integrate from negative infinity to zero and then zero to uh, positive infinity. Now, from negative infinity to zero, what is phi naught of y? Well, it'll be the case when the argument's negative, so it'll be negative phi of negative y. Okay? So what we're doing here, we're expressing uh, this back in terms of the original, the original uh, initial temperature. Okay? And if I integrate from 0 off to positive infinity, well, this is going to be just phi of y.
okay? Okay, well, if I then make the substitution in here, by replacing, say, um, negative y with positive y, okay? then what's going to happen? Well, I'm going to, uh, this will become y, this will become negative dy, this will become positive y, and all I need to do is check the, the limits of integration. So if I do that, I'll get the following. So now you can see I can flip this and go from z zero to positive infinity, which is the same as this. Okay, so almost finished now. Um, I can team up these. Okay, so that negative is going to cancel out with that. And if I flip that again, I can team up the integrals and a common factor of phi of y. Okay, so this then is the solution to our original problem. All right, but let's write this back in terms of this, you know, this this particular source function, if you like. Okay, so if I was to conclude, okay, so I'm integrating from zero to off to positive infinity. I've got my original temperature function that's only defined uh, on the half line, and so things are looking pretty good. So let's write this out in terms of my particular source function. Okay, uh, that can come out the front. Okay, so I'm going to have that. Minus, okay, so I'll just replace this with x plus y in brackets. Okay, and there you have it. That is the solution on the half line to our original problem. Okay, now um, what happens if I had a k coefficient there? Well, this would only slightly change. You'd have a k in the square root sign, you would have a k there in the 4t, and you would have a k there in the 4t. Okay, so that is um, the solution on the half line to the diffusion problem. If, if you want to check something for yourself, try proving this. That if I have, if I start with this problem on the whole line and the initial temperature is odd, then u is odd in x. That's something for you to try. Anyway, I hope this video has been interesting and useful. Please join me for more presentations in the future.